All right, so today we're gonna look at how to use Camera Raw and uh, curves to uh, to adjust your image. I, I think I briefly touched on it in another video, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do go more in depth on this one. So I'm gonna say open with uh, Adobe Photoshop, and that's not the one I want. So let me see, open. So this is a, a good image. I just grabbed it from Pixabay. And as you can see, it has nice color in it already. But we're going to go into Camera Raw and adjust it a little bit more. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my filter. And then I'm going to go down to Camera Raw filter to uh, open it in Camera Raw. The other way to do it would be to open Adobe. But uh, let's go to Camera Raw. So filter, uh, Camera Raw filter. And this has a lot of nice features. Um, one feature down here at the bottom, which I like, is your before and after. Um, I just clicked on this little um, box right here at the bottom. So single view, go back to single view. But those all the different views that you have, different splits and whatnot. Um, and the button right next to it takes you back to your default. So like, let's say I make a bunch of crazy changes. Uh, to get back to my default, I just click on that and it takes me back. All right. Uh, first thing I want to do is um, uh, probably the temperature is a little bit a little bit cold for me. I probably want to warm up the temperature. So temperature means uh, cooler colors right here, warmer colors right here. So I'm going to warm it up a little bit. Uh, I usually just click auto and I'll show you that in a second. Or I click my white balance right here, my white balance tool and select something that I know is white. So maybe this little bit on her dress. And that kind of sets my colors. It says that this color right here should be white or this color right here should be white. And it adjusts the picture accordingly. Um, I like to, I'm going to go back to my default. Uh, I like to uh, adjust the temperature. I usually adjust the contrast. And I usually come down here to vibrance. I like vibrance a little bit more than saturation. But uh you know, you can adjust them both. All right, and it just gives the image a little bit more uh, warmth and a little bit more contrast in some of these, these areas where there's a little bit, you have your darker areas. Um, a good way to, uh, to edit this would just be to click the, the auto, and I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna go back to my original, and I'm just gonna click auto. And it, it darkened it up, it gave me some contrast, gave me some vibrance as well. Uh, didn't really adjust the saturation. Uh, uh, I really like the blue right here, but again, the image isn't that warm to me. Um, my brighter areas, I probably want to brighten them up a little bit more. Uh, let's see, exposure. And again, you know, when you're color correcting images, it really comes down to what look you're going for. Some people like that that uh, really filtered look and some people like a very natural um, natural look so it depends on what you want to go to um, I know when you're doing tourist type stuff they like really bright blues and really bright um, nature to be very saturated uh, when you're doing like um, uh, photography for models and stuff you want the backgrounds to be kind of muted so that the model shows a little bit more and it looks more of a natural color so you keep your colors in a, in a, in a muted state with uh, lots of natural, warm, uh, earthy tones. So it depends on what you want. Uh, so I'm gonna click, so I, I liked how it was and I can go back here and see the difference. So really in the water right here and right here, the, the blues come out. Um, you can adjust things specifically if you want. So let's go down to here to the curve. Uh, we can click on our blues. Maybe we want our blues to be more um, Maybe we want to take out some greens. So you can adjust it as well in the curves down here as well. Um, I usually don't go that far into it in uh, Camera Raw. I usually take it back into Photoshop and do my further adjustings from there, adjustments from there. So I'm going to click OK. Now I have my image in Photoshop. If I want to go through and change out the sky, uh, let's go, let's use the new sky tool. So I'm going to go to sky replacement. And you can see right there, I can, can change out the sky to what I like. 
Uh, let's give it a nice blue sky. Some of these skies are not quite what I'm looking for. None of these seem to be fitting the bill for me right now. Um, but maybe just a nice blue gradient just to brighten it up a little bit. Um, and you can change the scale, do all that. Um, this is stuff that you traditionally have to do on your own. Um, so it's nice to have this that tool to be able to change that. Um, but, uh, you know, going in here and adjusting things individually is another way to go about it. And I'm going to show you that in the next picture. So I have this image right here. Um, just from first glance, you can see the magenta is a little bit strong on it. Um, it it might have been in an area where there was some uh, neon lights. But in either case, it's a little bit too strong. So the first thing you could do is go to your curves. I would go to my curves. Um, to kind of adjust the brightness and the darkness of the, the color values. Uh, so I'm going to go to adjustments and find my curves. And there's a few steps that I like to do initially. Um, I like to go to my white balance. So set my white point. So I'm assuming her shirt is white. Maybe this light right here is white. So I can click on those things to kind of change things. So I know her teeth aren't white, the whites of her eyes, maybe, but maybe right here on the collar, that's white. So that takes out a lot of the magenta right there. Um, and you can see that I have my green, my blue, my red, they've all been um, custom. Uh, they've been moved a little bit. Um, now what I want to do is probably want to go in here and adjust these things a little bit more. So I'm going to go over here to, there's some green in her forehead. Um, there's other places, let's see. So I'm just adjusting it based on what I see. So I'm gonna lighten this, darken it up and then, um, and you can do this however you want. You can do it by hand or you can do it um, like how I'm doing it. You can do it by hand or you can go into each channel and then do the slider on each on each part. But I already like how this looks. I think it looks a lot better than it did before. Again, you can toggle the um, uh, toggle the 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 um, the layer. So I'm going to turn it on and off. So I took out a lot of the magenta. Uh, like I said, it's a night shot. It looks like it's at a carnival. I see some toys. So you don't want to get rid of all of the background in there. But maybe you could go in a little bit more and take out a little bit more red. Um, it depends on what you want. So maybe right here. I, I know on her nose right there. So if I click right on that nose color, uh, take out some of that magenta right there. Um, and you just adjust it to how you want it to look. Preference-wise, it took a lot of, too much. I want some of that glow in there. Uh, so that's essentially what you do. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, again, if you have questions, you know, that's just quickly going over the curves. I actually didn't explain it that much. Let me actually go back and explain curves. Uh, so what you have in this graph right here is you have your dark values, your blacks, your grays in the middle, and your whites, just like how we talked about with levels. So you have your blacks, grays, and whites. Essentially what that is, if you want to click on this, so the, the black colors, let's find somewhere that's black, or actually I'll just drag it right here. So black, black is 000, white is 255. So those are 100%, either 100% color or 100% absence of color, right? And those are the two values. Gray would be the in-between, so let's get a nice gray here. So 140, 140, 140. So as long as we're keeping in that straight, um, that 100% equal range on each side, you're just adjusting the, the brightness and values of the tonal values, the brightness of the tonal values. So when I start getting into my colors over here, as you can see, they're not equal. So when I adjust my, my histogram right here, so these are all your different color values in there and we can look at them specifically. So these are my reds. So I have a lot of dark reds. I don't have that many bright reds. Um, and then I have a lot of, in the middle here, I have mainly uh, uh, 
gray in the middle um, uh, in between the two tonal values. So when I move my curves, I'm just adjusting the darks, the lights, and the middles. But all these color values, you know, they all have different numbers. So I'm adjusting the brightness or the darkness of those values depending on where I click on the curves. All right. So let me reset that. So that's essentially what your curves are. And you can um, you can fool around with that until you get kind of a, a, a look that you want. Now when I go into my curves, I kind of auto automatically do an S curve and then I adjust it from there. Um, it depends on your style. But uh, like I said, I, I feel this image looks pretty good and it has a lot of nice color in it. Again, I don't want to take out everything because it is a carnival and I, I don't want it to be completely lost. Um, you can go back in and adjust your like things like vibrance. You know, I, I go to vibrance before I go to uh, saturation. Um, and it when it comes to photography like this, uh, because it 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 adds to the values, but it doesn't oversaturate your your darkest and your brightest values. So you have your reds and the lips; those won't oversaturate and turn into staticky looking imagery because it it. It levels them off, so it keeps the the brights and the darks uh, rich, and then it adjusts those midtones when you use your vibrance. Um, so vibrance, uh, you can go into exposure if you want it to be a little bit brighter. Brightness and contrast as well, just to lighten it up a little bit. And if we look at my layers, so I have four layers right there. Um, the second curves I'm going to delete because that that wasn't anything. So three layers. Um, and you can turn each of them off to see what your changes were. So the biggest one was curves, and I, I usually start with something like curves or levels or, or saturation, depending on what type of image I'm working on. And then I would just brighten it a little bit. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have questions, please uh, email me and I'll, I'll respond back. All right, thank you.